Hi there, welcome to the Mind to Risk video blog. We are going to bust another safety myth today and one that goes way back. But first, you may recall my last video where I talked about causes as constructs. And I showed this uh, diagram that pictured uh, the relative impact of causes as pretended by that uh, research. And uh, it showed something like 60% uh, human contribution uh, behavior, 20% uh, rules and about 20% technical. And I'd like to take you back where all this came from. The belief that most accidents are caused by humans, human error, behavior, not rule following, etc. It's quite deep and it goes way back. We find it even in sayings like humans are the weakest link or to err is human. And uh, we find safety texts from the start of the last century and even before they describe human failure as the main, uh, main cause of accidents. And somehow this uh, belief has survived until today. You find it in many newspapers or in uh, brochures like this one from the FAA that tells us that about 80% of all maintenance errors that could lead up to accidents they are uh, uh, caused by human error. But where does it come from? On one side, we believe that most accidents are caused by human uh, failure because of, uh, well, call it common sense. It makes sense to us intuitively. We know that there has been some kind of uh, human factor in the process. Somebody did something they do, shouldn't have done or they omitted doing something they should have done. And so we can conclude, well, most accidents are due to human error. Then there is also a so-called research that seems to beg up this intuition. And I showed you one of those in the graph last time. And uh, today we will look at some uh, much more famous uh, research done by Herbert William Heinrich and his team, which he published in some papers in the late 20s. And his most famous version uh, appears in his 1941 book, which I have here. And there he shows that according to them, based on several tens of thousands of accidents that they reviewed, that 2% of all accidents uh, were not preventable. We tend to call them uh, caused by acts of God. Uh, then there are 88% of accidents are caused by man failure in all its variation. He lists, for example, uh, making safety devices inoperative or taking an unsafe position, etc. And the remaining 10% he uh, lists as technical failure, mechanical or physical conditions to be precise. And that's his uh, conclusion and it's quoted until today. 88% of all accidents are caused by human failure. But there are some problems with this. Let's look at them. The first problem is of course that causes are constructs, which means they don't exist outside out of our mind. We assign causes and Heinrich himself says as much, which is really interesting. And um, we cannot and we should not count them because uh, you define them slightly differently and you get other results. So uh, I, I won't dwell on, it, on this, but it's really essential causes you can't count them. It doesn't give meaning. The second problem with Heinrich's research is that the data he used was biased. A large part of the cases he and his team reviewed came from insurance claim files. And insurance data is, uh, or the, the files, the cases that are filed, they're probably not a neutral. 
somebody who files a case with an uh, insurance company has something to gain from uh, the claim and this will color the report obviously so we can assume that they were uh, skewed in one way or another we don't know what way but uh, we can assume this the second uh, source was uh, uh, many tens of thousands uh, cases from factory owners and also those cases were probably uh, biased in one way or another because well people weren't trained to do so to do investigation and well the results were probably not uh, living up to uh, standards that we would apply to them the third problem with Heinrich's research is, and he, he does actually describe this, that he only as allows one cause per case. And just think for a moment about this, um, because it's not easy. As we saw last time in the Pompeii example, uh, what would you call the cause of the Pompeii disaster? Was it a volcano? Without a volcano there wouldn't have been a disaster. Or was it uh, the people who went to live there? Because a volcano eruption without people isn't a disaster per se. So you would need both. Heinrich did not allow this. Heinrich uh, said if there was a, a human cause and a technical cause, he was to decide one of those that he found most important which is pretty arbitrary he doesn't describe how he does it but uh, you see in his uh, work that he was favoring the, the human cause so he was probably biased in his selection there the fourth problem with Heinrich's research was that he only allowed direct causes in his statistics and he does actually tell this very clear in the picture I showed at the bottom it says uh, chart of direct and proximate accident causes and he is hardly ever quoted on that people just say 88% are caused by human failure while Heinrich actually said 88% have direct causes that are man failure and that makes that makes sense because there is often a human factor involved just before the accident the thing is of course what the good does that do knowing that it's at best a uh, way as a conclusion it's at best a start to start digging deeper find out the reasons why humans uh, had that behavior why they made the errors why they didn't do what they should have done according to whatever um, the problem is uh, at worst investigations often stop there and then you get well the uh, plane crashed because of a uh, pilot error or whatever and then it's useless because it misdirects action towards well we have to change the behavior instead of looking into the system where does the behavior come from and what could we do about it that wraps it up for today we looked at one of the oldest myths in safety I think and I hope we can uh, start forgetting that now and if you don't forget it at least you know uh, some uh, way to answer it it has some serious problems because they count constructs which they shouldn't do they base themselves on biased data they counted arbitrarily because they selected either one or the other while they could have selected more and uh, of course it's about direct causes which are not very interesting uh, for uh, the sake of prevention or improvement of safety so whenever somebody quotes you uh, Heinrich or similar research you can count them now <laughs>